Ah, young love. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 devastating breakups on Disney Channel shows. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most tear-jerking breakups between Disney Channel TV show couples. Number 10. Andy Mack and Jonah Beck, Andy Mack For a long time, it seemed that these two would never like each other at the same time. So when they finally did get together, all Jandy shippers rejoiced. You said this was a girlfriendy, boyfriendy thing. Do you still think that? Yes. Unfortunately, that joy was short-lived because Jonah left for two weeks of Frisbee camp. And when he returned, things were just not the same. Though their romantic relationship had felt like the be-all and end-all to both, they realized that they were better off as friends. Jonah, I like you so much. But I just want to be friends. Actually, we might have to classify this one as an unbreakup. The scene is emblematic of the confusing feelings that come with being a teenager, and though ultimately they were better than ever, this one still makes us sad. We were rooting for those two crazy kids. But you don't want to break up with me and I don't want to break up with you. <sighs> is that allowed? I don't know. I think we just did it. Number 9. Zach Martin and Maya Elizabeth Bennett, The Sweet Life on Deck Zach had a reputation for being a ladies' man, but when Maya came aboard, he gave her all of his attention, feeling that she could be the real deal. You're a great girl, Maya, and you deserve the best. Which is exactly what I have. It took him a while to gain her trust, but Zach amazed everyone with how good a boyfriend he was. Unfortunately, Zach got his heart broken when Maya joined the Peace Corps after graduation. Zach was dedicated to making long distance work, but Maya wasn't too into the idea. Then we'll just have to call each other. Cell phone service in Africa can be a little spotty. <laughs> then we'll write. Though she tried to be as gentle as possible, Zach, usually the cool twin, was still heartbroken. It was hard to see him so hurt. I, I can't believe I wasted the best three months of my life on you. No, baby, don't say that. I'm not your baby anymore. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Number 8. Lizzie McGuire and Ronnie. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie's paperboy Ronnie was her first boyfriend, and he broke her heart. Lizzie was totally smitten with this guy. Do you consider us boyfriend and girlfriend? I don't know. Do you? I asked you first. So much so that she effectively isolated her friends with just how disgustingly annoying they were together. And just as quickly as it started, Ronnie ended it brutally. He broke up with her for another girl that went to his school because she was, quote, right there and everything. What a tool. It turns out that there's, there's this girl at my school who likes me. She's, she's right there and everything. We've seen Lizzie through some tough times, but this one was a real blow. Watching her cry her eyes out over that loser was heartbreaking. Thankfully, her friends were still there to pick up the pieces. We can still be friends, can't we? Lizzie, I'm really sorry. Number 7. Chad Dylan Cooper and Sonny Monroe, Sonny with a Chance A healthy dose of friendly competition has always been a huge part of the Channy relationship, but things escalate to a whole other level when both of their TV shows are up for a Tween Choice Award. Sonny, this is your very first red carpet. Sixth consecutive battle between So Random and Mackenzie Falls, but our first one between boyfriend and girlfriend. Both casts get a little insane about the whole thing, but Chad in particular becomes very obnoxious in his confidence that he'll win. After apparently losing, Chad can't take it and demands a recount. It turns out his show won after all, but it makes Sonny realize that he'll always put himself above everything and everyone else. You know, some silly award shouldn't get between us. <laughs> I totally agree. That's why I ordered a recount of the votes for Best Tween Show. You did what now? <laughs> I ordered a recount. Oh, great news. So random, lost. She can't be with someone who has that little respect for her and breaks up with him. Well, at least Chad has his award to keep him company. Sorry, are you breaking up with me? Because I thought I was helping. That's the worst part about it. <laughs> Goodbye, Chad. Number 6. Cody Martin and Bailey Pickett, The Sweet Life on Deck 
This is a bit of a weird one because the catalyst for Cody and Bailey ending their relationship was a huge, ridiculous misunderstanding. Cody was so nervous about making his anniversary with Bailey perfect that he recruited London's help. But Bailey misread the situation and thought Cody was cheating. Your eyes shine brighter than all the stars in the sky. Then, when Cody saw another guy hugging an upset Bailey, he assumed that she was cheating. What? <laughs> I can't believe it! She's with some other guy! The whole mixed up situation culminated in a huge argument on top of the Eiffel Tower. The way they attacked each other was brutal, and it's so disappointing that after a year together, they were quick to assume the worst about each other. Then it's over. Fine. Number 5. Liv Rooney and Holden Dippeldorf, Liv and Maddie. What makes this one so devastating is that they both still really cared about each other. Holden just couldn't deal with always coming second to Maddie in Liv's life. What about my feelings? I care about your feelings. It's just Maddie's my sister. He was dedicated to her, but for her, Maddie always came first. It was a tricky situation that they ultimately couldn't resolve. I can't do this. We need to break up. Mind you, also worth a mention is Maddie's devastating breakup with Diggy. Right after returning from a semester away, he signed up for another without even mentioning it to her. And when she tried to have an honest talk with him about it, he acted like her feelings didn't matter. Okay. See you around, Ronnie. Yeah. Number four, Alex Russo and Mason Graybeck, Wizards of Waverly Place. When Alex is up for the Wizard of the Year award, her boyfriend should be supportive, right? Well, Mason was too busy brooding about a fake story that Alex was dating another guy. He dealt with his feelings by attacking the other guy and completely ruining Alex's award ceremony. Alex broke up with him on the spot. I think we need a break. We're sad for Alex, but arguably that was a good call. In Transylvania, Mason attacked Justin and Juliet, costing her her vampire powers and leading to more broken hearts. Not saying that this is all Mason's fault, but he is the common denominator in both incidents. Juliet. I'll never forget you. Number three, Teddy Duncan and Spencer Walsh. Good luck, Charlie. When Teddy found out Spencer was cheating and she teamed up with the other girl to humiliate him, we were all saying good riddance along with them. But when they got back together, Spencer was a totally different guy, and we were all learning to trust him again. It's gonna be okay, sweetie. We can do this. Yeah, of course we can. Which only made it hurt more when Spencer got accepted to a performing arts school, and it was an opportunity he just couldn't pass up. I just can't spend all my time missing you. I'm gonna drive myself crazy. Yeah, I feel the same way. They decided that long distance wouldn't work, and broke up in order to remain friends. Though it was a very mature decision, it still hurt the both of them, making the scene difficult to watch. Hurting too much to say goodbye to each other, instead they said hello. Hello, Teddy. Hello, Spencer. Number two, Allie Dawson and Austin Moon's second breakup, Austin and Allie. Being relationship partners and music partners proved to be too much for this couple. I can't wait to walk down the red carpet together. Should we hold hands? A link arms? Should I be on your left or your right? Uh, be on my left. That's my good side. <laughs> As their careers reached an all-time high, their relationship hit an all-time low. Austin's people didn't think he should have a girlfriend for his image, and Allie didn't want to be kept a secret. So I have to choose between Allie and my career. She decided they should end things and remain friends, rather than they both be unhappy. Since their careers were taking them in different directions anyway, they recognized that the timing just wasn't right for them. Though it may have been the right decision for the time, you can't help but get teary-eyed at hearing Austin say he doesn't want to lose her again. I, I, I don't want to lose you again. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Raven Baxter and Devon Carter – That's So Raven Raven and Devon took a while to get somewhere really good, but Devon truly understood Raven. 
and not only accepted all her crazy, but loved her because of it. So it wasn't only heartbreaking, but genuinely infuriating when he moved away. Chandra lives in Seattle, and Devon and his whole family are gonna move there. Raven had to find out on her own that Devon's dad was getting remarried and moving the whole family away. Devon acted shady during his last few days, driving Raven crazy and didn't tell her the truth until she confronted him at the wedding dressed as the bride. Will I ever see you again? I hope so. They had a few nice moments before he left, but Raven was completely destroyed. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.